What is going on you guys? AK40 Kevin here in the Gamer Heaven. A few months back I made a video talking about a game I was really excited about that was coming into its closed alpha phase called Dead Matter and I basically described it as uh, Escape from Tarkov if it was going to be an open world zombie game. Unfortunately this game had a terrible, terrible, terrible launch and it is a perfect example um, for all game developers out there how not to launch a game and uh, basically how to just um, make people lose, lose faith in your game and have it flop before it could ever have a chance to be successful. Um, so I have lost uh, pretty much all faith I had in this game ever being um, a good product, which really sucks because, you know, the original trailers and stuff made it look like this game had a lot of potential, you know. And I understand when games come out in their alpha and their beta phase, like even like Escape from Tarkov was hella buggy, hella glitchy when it came out, had some major issues, but nothing on this level. And uh, the devs also worked with the community to figure things out and move forward from it. And now it's like a really polished game, um, even though it's still in its, its um, uh, beta phase or whatever. So anyway... Uh, <laughs> This game launched, they could not get the keys out, uh, they couldn't figure out what the hell was happening because they had three or four different platforms where you could buy keys for this game. Uh, for those of you that don't know, a key is basically your access token to play a closed alpha or beta game. Uh, and, and they were you know, selling it through a couple of different websites or platforms and then everyone was trying to claim their keys at once and it basically just crashed their servers. Um, there's also rumors that they were like hacked day one, which really sucks, um, but they just, they, they couldn't handle the situation, and then uh, it seemed like a lot of their devs had no... They were just terrible at dealing with the situation, and also even about explaining their game. So, like, whenever there's interviews or trailers with the game, and they're supposed to be walking through, you know, okay, this section, you're in this part of the town, and you're trying to collect supplies. Like, they didn't even know what the game was about, and it's like, didn't you work on this fucking project for, like, two years? I just thought that was really weird. They weren't passionate about the project. That's a big problem right there. Uh, and it just seems like uh, the most recent news is that there's not going to be keys for some people that actually paid for the game uh, until 2021. So that's insane. Uh, everyone was supposed to get their keys about a month ago now, and a lot of them didn't. And even the gameplay that we've seen so far does not look that impressive. So you cannot stream the game. There's an NDA or an embargo that you cannot create content with this game. So stream it or YouTube it or anything like that unless you are a uh, verified partner, which you have to apply. And they basically probably tell you, okay, don't trash talk our game. and Don't fist us too hard. Just, you know, you can tell people it has a couple bugs and glitches, but, you know, let them know we're working on it, blah, blah, blah. So even partners of this game are bashing this game. Um, their partnerships are getting revoked because they're saying things that they probably shouldn't, but they just don't care because they've lost faith in the fact that this could ever become a good open world zombie survival game, uh, which really sucks because you see right here, you know, that was like a Escape from Tarkov style inventory system, wide open world, you know, first person survival, kind of like a mixture of like Daisy and Scum and escape from Tarkov with zombies thrown in there. In concept, it sounded fantastic, but uh, that's all it was as a concept, and they really didn't have a strong enough development team, or even, uh, they don't have a PR team to talk to the public in a way that's gonna calm people's nerves and get them standing behind the game. They don't have any PR team. It's literally the devs uh, who can't even talk to one person during an interview about their game, so how are they gonna make you know public statements about what's going on with their keys and their tokens? So. Uh, they just completely belly flopped. I mean, Pink Belly McGee over here. This this thing's it's fucking dead. It's uh, it's it's real dead, which really sucks. I mean, maybe a year, two years from now, they might get this railroad disaster back on track. But for now, I mean, it, it it's bad and it sucks because I, I was actually really excited for this game. All right, peace.